soir oui. ici. Comment oh, vas-tu Je vais I'm bien. bien. J'ai fait une sortie bien. vraiment nice géniale avec ma classe. Oh, oh, super. Ouais, Vous êtes allé où je sais pas vraiment, parce que le chauffeur du bus s'est perdu. Oh non Mais on s'est trop mal bien amusé Yes On a traversé la ville dans tous les sens. Alors avec mes copains, on a joué à lire le nom de toute la rue. Et devinez quoi Pour finir, le bus est arrivé rue du zoo. Oh bon, Lucie. Tu sais quoi, le mais en ton aventure me rappelle la fois où Alfie et Charlie ont descendu la rivière en canon. Oh, s'il te plaît, Boris, raconte-nous l'histoire. Eh bien, tout commença par une belle matinée d'automne. Tandis que Alfie et Charlie se reposaient sur un gros rocher qui surplombait la rivière. Oh, c'est pas formé, Charlie, pas vrai Ah ouais, Alfie, une journée parfaite pour partir en exploration. Oh, t'es si sur la rivière, je suis encore jamais allé plus loin. Ah non mais Moi non plus Et si on y allait pour voir Salut Oh ouais Bah comment oh. <rire> oh. Désolé les petits gars Mais But je viens de vous entendre discuter, là. La solution, c'est le canoë Je vais vous apprendre à naviguer C'est la meilleure façon d'explorer la rivière Wow Super génial Mais d'abord, il faut construire un canoë Heureusement, Rodolphe savait exactement à qui s'adresser pour ça. Mais bien sûr, je peux abattre un arbre Rodolphe. Alors, dis-moi quel te plaît le plus. This one. Uh-uh. Pourquoi pas celui-là Non, 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 mais regarde, il est tout petit. Je sais, mais c'est pas pour moi, c'est pour les deux petits gars là-bas. In no time at all, the real the dog was ready. Well, I'm going to check on a few of my kids. Have a good trip. Attends, eh bien, c'est une énorme chute. On y fait attention. Oui. Mais oui. Désolé, mais vous êtes beaucoup trop jeune pour naviguer seul sur cette rivière. Je viens avec vous. Oh, ça c'est super rondeau. On y va. Oui. Mais avant, il nous faut les pagayer. On ne peut pas naviguer en canoë sans pagayer. Et voilà le travail. Mais c'est le coup, il est au il y a eu une sorte d'accident. Ils ont été évacués. Ils sont partis trop petits pour être sur une petite grosse rivière. Ils sont pas gays en plus. J'ai fait mon gros j'ai un canoë de sauvetage. Pas le temps pour ça. Ce soir, on fera l'affaire. Ne sois pas inquiet, Eleonore. Poor Randolph was now stuck on the river without a paddle. So the pagaie, the poor Randolph, was entrained by the current, and the river knew it had to be moved quickly. Ah, this river is going pretty quick today. Those poor chips must be still out of their wits. 
No, sorry. Oh dear, so no one knows the story about the seashore? I do. My name is Connor and I've lived by the sea all of my life. Now, is everybody ready for my story? Uh, yes. yes. One morning on Mossy Bay, the puffins were playing football. <laughs> Over here, Sharon. <laughs> oh, good tackle, Amy. And you are just a young puffin, not strong enough to fly out there. Uh, but do not worry, my puffin friends. If you are patient, then the ball will return. Silly Mr. Mustache, how can the ball come back on its own? <laughs> It will return. Be patient. Eh, the young ones. So much to learn. Now, where was I? Ah, oui. My thank you letter to Auntie. She loves poetry, but uh, I'm no poet. <laughs> Dear Aunt Louise, the weather here, it freezes. Oh. No, no. Why is it so hard to find the rhyme? Uh, the next morning, the puffins woke up early and hurried down to the beach to look for their ball. <laughs> Nothing here. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Nothing in the rock pool. <gasps> A seashell. Oh, it's really pretty. Sharon the presents. She must have a secret admirer. <laughs> I wish they'd left her a ball instead. <laughs> Next day, there was still no sign of the puffin's ball. Nothing? Hey, look, another present. We can make a seesaw. This time, it was Jamie who had been left a present. Who keeps leaving us this treasure on the beach? We have to find out. I know. Let's ask Gunner. He sees everything from up there. Hey, Gunner! Someone keeps leaving his treasure on the beach and we want to know who. Can you help us, please? I flew up to take a look, but there was no one to be seen across Marcy Bay. And not a single footprint in the sand. It was a mystery. Hey, it's raining. No, it's not. <laughs> Look, it's down with the whale. The puffins asked Selma if she knew anyone who might leave treasure on the beach. Oh, no, my dears, but I will keep my eyes open for you. Selma sailed right around the island, but she didn't see anyone. There was no one left to ask except... Hercule Moustache! He knows everything! Yeah, but I won't be asking him. Nor me. He's far too grumpy. So why don't we play a game to decide who asks? Okay. okay! We each pick a piece of seaweed. The one who picks the shortest piece has to go and ask Mr Moustache. Do I have 
have to. Hercule Moustache was still trying to write a poem. Thank you, Auntie, for the lovely muffin. It was as light as a... I will never think of a word to rhyme with muffin. Mr. Moustache? Aha! Puffin! The muffin as light as a puffin! <laughs> Come closer, little puffin. How may I help you? Jamie told Hercule all about the treasure on the beach. I know exactly how we can solve this mystery of yours, my little friend. It's a clear night. You will surely see who leaves the treasure on the beach. You must stay awake. I know. Let's sing a song. We go puffin' here. We go puffin' there. Here a puffin', there a puffin'. Everywhere a puffin'. Sing along, Mr. Moustache. Uh, we... Give me the moonlight. Give me the fish. The little ones are too tired to stay awake. <laughs> Oh. Oh, oh, it is oh. time to see who brings the treasure to Mossy Bay. But there's nobody there. Our football! That's our football! Yay! But I don't understand. How has it come back? The tide has brought your football back. And all the other treasures. What is the tide, Mr. Moustache? The sea and her mysterious ways. Every day the tide comes in, and every day the tide goes out. Sometimes the waves collect things from the beach. Oh, like our ball. May we? And sometimes they leave things behind. Like the seashell and a piece of wood. Exactly. Let's play. <laughs> <laughs> I said your ball would come back if you were... Oh! Patient. See you later, little friends. <laughs> <laughs> and that, land lovers, is the end of my seashore story. Thank you very much, Gunner. That was lovely. I wish we lived by the beach. Yes! We could all go exploring for treasure. Ah, but you're lucky. You've got the best treasure of all. What's that? I know. We're lucky because we have lots and lots of stories. Exactly, Molly. But it's too late for any more stories tonight, Lucy. <sighs> Good night, everyone. Good night, Lucy. <laughs> And how would you say that something is good? You'd say, that's bonza, mate. That's bonza, mate. Now try this one. G'day, mate. G'day, mate. That's bonza. You're really getting the hang of it now. <clears throat> g'day, Lucy. Uh, g'day, everyone. G'day, Lucy. Hello. You're new here, aren't you? Yes. This is Carrie the Cockatoo. She's here on a visit from Australia. She's been teaching us how to speak Australian. And we thought we might ask her to tell us a story. Oh, yes, please. Do you know any good ones? I sure do, mate. I've got a very good one, actually. It's all about... Well, why don't I just tell it to you? This is the story of the big billabong wave. It was the start of another long, hot day in the outback. Same old billabong, same old games. Why's the 
give her anything new to do around here. Oh, 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 oh. Ah, look. There's Carrie the cockatoo. I thought she was on a holiday by the sea. Let's go talk to her. Hey, Carrie! Yoo-hoo! Oh, hi. I was quite tired after my long flight from the seaside. But Joey and his friends wouldn't let me go till I told them all about my trip. And then we had a beautiful barbie on the beach and went fishing on the reef and, best of all, it was the surfing. Oh, yeah, surfing. I've heard of that. What is it again? Well, there's a giant wave and you ride on it. On top of the wave, you stand on a little wooden board and can do all these fancy tricks and ride along above the sea. That's surfing. Wow! I want to go surfing. And me. Me too. So what are we waiting for? But I don't think you can surf here. You need waves. Uh, Jimmy, you can't use a rock as a surfboard. You <laughs> this is more like it. Come on, I'll look like a surfboard. Balancing on the surfboard wasn't easy. <laughs> but eventually, lots of practice, they all got the hang of it. Now, there was only one problem left. Where are all the waves? There were no waves on the billabong. It was just big and flat. Joey and his friends were very disappointed. <laughs> Big Billabong Wave. <sighs> then it's time you did. Many, many years ago, when the world was still young, there came from the Billabong a great wave. The Big Billabong Wave. Wow! A huge wave, taller than a tree. Wow! Wow, indeed. It was the biggest wave anyone had ever seen. From time to time, they say the big wave comes back to this very billabong. Let's go and find it! It may be a very long time before the next wave. <laughs> that's all right, Mr. Two Trees. We'll wait all morning if that's what it takes. And remember, Joey, all good things come to those who wait. Uh, yeah, nice one. Bye. Can you see it yet? I'm going in first. Won't be long now. At first, Joey and his friends waited patiently. It'll be along soon, I guess. Yeah, any moment now. But after a while, Phoebe got bored. Oh, I thought Carrie said surfing was fun. I'm going home. Might climb a few gum trees. Wanna come? No, thanks. Think I'll stick around a bit longer. Yeah, me too. I'm gonna ride that wave. Then Jimmy got bored too. Oh, Phoebe's right. Surfing is boring. I think I'll go and hang out with the triplets. Coming? No, thanks. I'll give it a bit longer. 
Mr. Two Trees did say we had to try and be patient. Suit yourself. He waited and waited, and then he waited some more. But Joey wasn't bored. In fact, the more time he spent by the billabong, the more he liked it. Beautiful here and so peaceful. <sighs> Jimmy and Phoebe don't know what they're missing, but I'd still like to ride that big billabong way just once. All good things come to those who wait. Hey, a hoom, hey, a ho, come a wind, come a wind, blow, blow, big billabong way. Waiting for big billabong waves don't last forever, you know. the sun went down and the big billabong wave was no more. Wow, what a bonza story. Wish I could go surfing down under. Uh, oh, yes, but not tonight. I think a certain young lady should be heading for somewhere a little nearer home. Where's that, mate? Nelson means it's my bedtime. I suppose I am quite tired. <sighs> Good night, Carrie. Good night, Lisa. Sweet dreams. Sometimes on cold nights, my fur turns white, like, uh, camouflage. I see. And your voice. You seem to have a different accent. I've been having lessons. Really, Boris? Well, you certainly sound different, but I'll bet you can still do your famous Russian bear dance. Err... Uh... Oh, come on, Boris. Don't be shy. <gasps> Did someone mention dancing? Hi, Lucy. Don't worry. This is the real me. Huh. We had you fooled there, didn't we? You certainly did. But what are you two up to? Snowbird popped round to tell you a special story. That sounds exciting. What's it about? Wait a moment, Lucy. We all have to get settled in first. <clears throat> this is the story of Air Cool Mustache. Sydney the seal was juggling some fish. <sighs> I spy with my little eye <clears throat> something beginning with I, an iceberg. Sydney had seen many icebergs in his time, but this one was new. 
And on the iceberg sat a very large walrus. I wonder who it is. Arr. Never seen a walrus in these parts before. Ahoy there! Arr, arr. Hello! Arr, arr. My name is Sydney the Seal. Arr, arr. Pleased to meet you. My name is Hercule Moustache. And my bottom is cold for sitting on this iceberg for so long. Oh, have you come far then? I come from a place called Mossy Bay. You've probably heard of it. No. Oh, it is a beautiful spot. Famous for the scenery and the moss, of course. Uh, I miss it already. Oh, uh, uh, it's nice here too. Lots of things to see and do. Yes, so I have been told. I am on my orders, you see, and my friend suggested the North Pole. So, here I am. Only it doesn't look very interesting. Oh, you won't be disappointed. Uh, uh, I can show you around. Thank you. That would be nice. Hercule, uh, uh, I'll take you to the most spectacular sight you've ever seen. Oh, really? And what might that be? It's a surprise. Uh, uh, Follow me. And on your left, uh, uh, you can see hundreds of icebergs, all of different sizes. My dear Sydney, I have seen enough icebergs to last me a lifetime. Where is the surprise of which you spoke? You'll soon find out. OK, this is the first stop on our guided tour. More icebergs, I expect. Oh. Ta-da! <clears throat> I see. I'm not really one for modern art, but... Hello. That's my friend Snowbird. A bear. Arr, arr. He made the ice sculptures. Arr, arr. Oh, I see. That is your surprise. Very good. Oh, yes, a bear who does sculpture. Very good indeed. Oh, uh, but that wasn't it. Arr, arr. Your surprise will be much more spectacular than that. It will? Yeah. Snowbird will show us the way. Come on. Arr, arr. I packed some things in a rucksack, and the three of us set off together. Is it much further? Ugh, and that wind is very cold for me. I knew I should have gone to the Sahara. Sunshine, sand, relaxation. Do you like our fountain? Very nice, we oui, oui. Though I've seen fountains before. Bigger than this, of course. Ah! Oh, ho, 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 ho. This well will take us across the water. Across the water? Oh, oh I, I won't get wet, will I? North, please. Eventually, the ice became so thick that the whale could go no further. What's happening? We've stopped. Has he broken down? Oh, la la. This is a disaster. Don't worry. We can walk the rest of the way. Arr, arr. More walking? I don't believe it. This is like a the marathon. After this holiday, I will need another holiday. Sydney and I were getting fed up with their cools moaning. North. Always north. <laughs> Almost there! Arr, arr. I like this view. Uh, yes, very nice. Can we sit down now? Yes, Hercule. Arr, arr. Just sit there. Arr, arr. Yeah! North! Always north! No, it's everywhere. What have you done to the moustache of poor Hercule? But it's a snow ride, Hercule. Uh, uh, You're meant to be covered in snow. Uh, I should never have come to the North Pole. Now we were really fed up with Hercule. We'd shown him so many exciting things 
and all he could do was complain. Maybe you're right. Her you should have stayed at home, Hercule. Yes, in the south. <clears throat> so, where is this surprise you have promised me? Well, Hercule, our journey is over. Her We're here at last. Here? Here is my surprise? Yes. Make yourself comfortable. The show is about to begin. The uh, show? Show? But, but, but this is madness. Here there is only black sky and ice. Hercule felt very disappointed, but he didn't dare complain anymore. Hercule, did you know that the spot we're sitting on is the exact North Pole? Yes. This is as far north as you can go. Really? That's uh, very interesting. Let's have a picnic. Ah, a fish. As we were us say, who could wish for more than a fish? <laughs> Thank you for the picnic surprise. Merci. Uh, thank you, my friends. <laughs> <laughs> the picnic wasn't our surprise, but look up! Up in the sky, Hercule! Hercule looked up, and the skies began to change. Welcome, Hercule, to your surprise, the Northern Lights. Oh, it is so beautiful. Hail spectacle. Thank you for this wonderful surprise. We're so glad you enjoyed your holiday here at the North Pole. Hey, look, the lights have started again. Hercule had enjoyed the Northern Lights so much, he promised to tell all his walrus friends to visit the North Pole, too. I feel like Hercule. What? Have you got a moustache? No, silly. I mean, I'm like Hercule because I got a lovely surprise, too. Snowbird story. I'm glad you enjoyed it. And now, isn't it time you went travelling north? Back to my bed, you mean? Yes. Good night, Lucy. Good night, everyone. See you soon. Good night, Lucy. Hi, Lucy. Hi, Molly. Hi, Nelson. Hi, Giggles. Hi, Chiggles. Hi, Georgina. Hi, Boris. I would like to tell a story tonight. Ugh, your stories are boring. It's our turn tonight. Yeah, we know lots of stories. Scary stories. Exciting stories. Funny stories. Surely it's my turn tonight. No, mine. But, but you, you told, told a story yesterday. yesterday. That's not fair. Stop it. That's enough. I think tonight it's Boris's turn to tell me a story. What? Me? But I don't know any stories. I'm a bear of few words. You see, he's useless at telling stories. No, he's not. He's just shy. Come on, Boris, tell us a story. Well, uh, I suppose I could tell you the story of Snowbird. Snowbird? That's a funny name. Is he a bear, like you? Well, yes and no. He's a bear. But not a bear like me. Snowbird is a big white polar bear. Snowbird lived just around the corner from the North Pole in a house he built of snow. What shall we do today, Snowbird? Uh, we could play a game of dominoes. Good idea. Because he lived on his own, Snowbird often talked to himself. Hey, your turn, Snowbird. I've won again. Better luck next time, eh, hey, Snowbird? Snowbird was also a sculptor. He was very proud of all the snow sculptures he'd made, but sometimes he wished he had a friend to show them to. 
One morning, Snowbird decided to go fishing. I've had enough fish for a week. How about you, Snowbird? So have I. Huh? Huh? Oh, wrong hole. Sorry. Please don't go. Uh, but you're a polar bear. Uh, uh, You'll eat me. I won't eat you. I'm a fishetarian. You? A fishetarian? It means I only eat fish. Fish for breakfast. Fish for lunch and fish for dinner. Oh yes, and fish for that tasty snack that keeps you going between meal times. You're not a fish, are you? Uh, of course not. I'm a seal, Sydney the seal. My name is Snowbird. Will you be my friend? Okay. Shall we play a game? I've got some dominoes. Yeah. I have the double fish. That's not how seals play dominoes. I'll show you how it's done. Why are you putting all those dominoes in a row, Sydney? You'll see. Ready? Her, her, go! Yippee! Her, her. That was fun. Now, let's play dominoes the snowbird way. Her, her. And so they did. They played dominoes all day. And when the sun set, Sydney had to go home. But he promised to come back the next morning. But her, her. I think I have a friend. Yes, I think you're right. Now, you won't have to talk to yourself anymore. The next morning, Snowbird took Sydney to see his snow sculptures. Wow! These are great! <laughs> You're a real artist! Oh, it's easy, really. I have an idea. Stay here. Hurry up. I can't stay still much longer. Almost finished. Ready! <laughs> I haven't got a big tummy like that. Yes, you have. <laughs> now let's have some fun. Yeah. Sydney. Always. Promise. Promise. But one cold winter morning. <laughs> the hole had disappeared. It was frozen. Sydney. 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 Snowbird couldn't find Sydney anywhere. And Sydney couldn't find Snowbird anywhere. I wonder if I will ever see Sydney again. He promised we'd always be friends. 
you're talking to yourself again. Sorry. It was midwinter, and the days were as dark as the nights. Snowbird waited for the sun to rise. He waited, and waited, and waited, and then he fell asleep. Snowbird woke up on a warm spring morning. <coughs> Oh, the hole in the ice was back. Only now, it was a lot bigger. Sydney, I thought I would never see you again. But I promised I'll be back. And I always keep my promises. Oh, Sydney, I'm so happy to see you. I'm happy to see you too. Look, I've brought some friends to play. And that's exactly what they did. From that day on, Snowbird was never lonely anymore. That was a nice story. Not bad at all for a bare few words. It's made me feel a bit cold, though. <sighs> I think I'd like to go to my warm bed now. Good night, Boris. Good night, Lucy.